Hey guys, what is up? It is me, Pagey, here once again with another video on Stargirl. This is going to be my trailer breakdown for episode 8 for this season, otherwise entitled Shiv Part 2. But of course, before we get into anything else, let's actually watch that trailer. I did it. I found Stargirl. What? This could be the break we needed. Nothing's worth you getting hurt like this. Hey, new girl. So, wow, up to episode 8 already, we're rolling through the season, not long to go now, but of course, last episode was Shiv Part 1, where we got some insight into Cindy Berman, aka Shiv, aka the daughter of Dragon King, sort of some stuff in regards to history without it seeing, you know, flashbacks like we'd seen before. Could we get flashbacks this episode? Maybe, but you think if they were going to include them, they would have included them last episode, so I guess them referring to it is good enough, because I don't think we had to see some of the stuff they refer to. But anyway, we get an insight into her life, the fact that she wants to be a part of the Injustice Society. Her dad's like, uh, no, you can just go along with the plan. We've learned that she's actually not even attracted to Henry. You know, it's because he's a son of Brainwave. It's about, you know, just, you know, being a part of the plan, being a team player. And that's what Cindy is having to do, but she doesn't really like doing it, uh, which we see very clearly in the episode as she has a very bad day. And you think like her and Courtney are sort of getting along and the whole episode does have parallels between Cindy and Courtney in regards to both what their actions are, how impulsive, and they're going against the orders they've been given or the instructions um, that they've been given, and just even their relationships with their father figures. So Cindy's relationship with Dragon King is sort of similar to um, Courtney's relationship with Pat. Pat's a bit nicer, but you know, in regards to them dis dis disobeying and certain orders they're being given, it's very similar, a very nice parallel they did throughout the episode, and that might continue in this episode. But of course, we did have the big Star Girl versus Shiv fight in the episode where Courtney is, uh, you know, shown up by Shiv, uh, gets her hands sort of sliced open and stuff like that. Not good. But uh, Courtney is actually uh, saved by Janitor Justin with his enchanted sword, which we'd seen uh, early in the episode. And I'll come back to him in a second because I have something to address about that. But of course, before we get into the breakdown of the trailer, we will quickly go over the synopsis or description for the episode as it does give us a bit more context and uh, stuff to talk about in regards to what's happening in the episode. But of course, throughout the video, be sure to let me know your various opinions on this episode. Are you looking forward to it? Are you looking forward just to the conclusion of the Shiv story, if you want to call it, in regards to focusing on it? And just look, let me know what you're looking forward to the most from the episode uh, based off the trailer and what's shown in this video. And of course, if you're going to enjoy the video, why not drop a like on it to show your support for the channel and the Stargirl videos. Greatly appreciated. After Courtney gets herself into some trouble following an unexpected confrontation, Pat decides they need to come clean to Barbara. Meanwhile, Cindy takes heat from her father after a plan to take matters into her own hands sorry, goes awry. Finally, Yolanda, Beth, and Rick lead an investigation into one of their own classmates. So yeah, as I said before, Janitor Justin had to come back to him. Guys, I know he's Shining Knight. You don't have to tell me in the, in the comments of my review. I know he's Shining Knight. I've said that in videos before, in my trailer breakdowns and stuff like that. But just in my reviews, I focus on the present. I don't focus about necessarily what's going to come. And, and, and yes, that's a bit of a spoiler. So if you didn't know that he's Shining Knight, I'm sorry, but I'm, if you've even read the comment section of one of my videos on Stargirl, you would have seen someone who probably Wikipedia hit his uh, name and knew that he was Shining Knight. So I know that I just go through the present day. So it's going to be interesting to see what they do with him, whether it's comic accurate in regards to how they did in Stars and Stripe. Um, whether we get winged victory or not, that sounds expensive. Even him being in the full shining knight, um, attire, you know, like the knight's armor and stuff would look cool, but I think it's going to be, it could be weird to do like stunts with. So they might avoid it. If anything, we might get a flashback or a picture of him in that outfit, um, or that attire, but it'll be interesting to see what they do there. But I know he's shining knight dudes. Anyway, to start off the trailer, we have, I did it. I found Stargirl. Well, I, that sounds a bit too... Like, if, if Courtney was saying it. I did it. I found Stargirl. That's said by Cindy. Uh, she's most likely talking to her father, that of course being Dragon King. Now, obviously the synopsis does refer to Cindy taking heat for it. So it will be interesting to see what his immediate response is and whether he knew what Cindy was doing because obviously the suit was gone. So if he came out while Cindy was gone, so, oh, the suit's gone. Awesome. So he wouldn't have been happy about that. Now, I think initially his reaction is going to be fairly bad. He's going to be like, oh, why'd you do this, Sydney? Yeah, you've got to get my orders. But then it could possibly be, possibly be good, I guess, because Cindy does say that she knows who Stargirl is. 
But the thing is, is that Dragon King has this plan, and I don't think really needing to know who the new JSA members is straight up part of that plan. I know the other ISA members like Icicle and stuff and Sportsmaster were talking about it, but I think for Dragon King, it's like a sub note. It's not like the main part of the plan, like step one, get the satellite. Step two, kill Stargirl and the rest of the JSA. It's not on his list, but it's still something good to have in mind, even though Sydney went against his orders. So it'll be interesting to see what happens there. But based off that, it does seem that the episode picks up right where we left part one. So when Cindy leaves the gym, it's her going back and that's where we pick up, which makes sense, I guess, seeing it's part two. It's almost like episode one and two of this season. They pretty much should have, should have been called part one and part two, but the episodes were called Stargirl and Stripe, which makes sense because they focus on the different characters sort of in those episodes. But um, yeah, so it sort of makes sense they'd pick up from where we left off. Now, we do have Pat saying, what? Now, he obviously retrieved Courtney from the gymnasium at the end of last episode. So the only thing this could maybe potentially have to do with Courtney specifically is that maybe it's Courtney telling him who exactly the person was that uh, attacked her in the gym and who she was fighting. Or maybe she's telling him about the secret passages in the school. However, um, well, in regards to the passages, passages in the school, we obviously know they pretty much go like under and throughout most of Blue Valley by the looks of it. Um, so that would be useful intel for Pat, but this is outside. So it's most likely someone else. And there is a primer image, which we will, we will refer to later on, which is most likely who, um, Pat is talking to. But I think throughout this episode, Pat's going to be getting some intel given to him by the new JSA members. So it'd be interesting to see Pat working with them without Courtney, uh, possibly. Now the synopsis does talk about Pat coming to, uh, clean to Barbara, Will that happen in the episode? Um, maybe. I mean, if the synopsis talks about that, I guess it's a possibility. I mean, with Courtney being injured, it would be hard to keep it under wraps, especially with Mike in the house when Barbara was away, who would or at least should know what happened to Courtney, especially because it was at the football game. So how did Mike get home? Surely, you know what I mean? So there's questions there. So Mike should know what happened to Courtney and he should have his questions if he isn't told, yo, Courtney's a superhero. So that whole th- I think we should see a lot of it play out in this episode. Or maybe it's set up for next episode. But I'd be expecting a big mic drop in regards to Barbara finding out, hopefully by episode nine. So, well, yeah, the episode after this one. Now, we do have Rick slamming his fist down while in Pat's shop and they have all the, like, the ISA members on that board thing. Now, this could be him finding out about Courtney, uh, what happened to Courtney, but I don't think, I think that would have happened before them being in the shop. So I don't know if that's the actual case. Or maybe it's some other news. Uh, Maybe that Courtney could have out of their identities possibly. So it could be um, them reacting badly to what Courtney did last episode. However, the synopsis does talk about them investigating one of their classmates. Um, So I guess maybe it's Cindy most likely or maybe Henry. That's another possibility. Next episode, episode nine is called Brainwave. I think episode 10 is Brainwave Junior. So they really be diving into the Henry territory. But because this is Shiv part two... I guess it makes more sense. They'd be they'd be investigating Cindy and finding some more stuff out about that. And one of the primary images actually does indicate that heavily, which we'll come to later on. Now, speaking of Cindy, we do see her blades coming out from under her skin in the beginning of this fight scene, like we saw, uh, like we sort of saw last episode. She was wearing a long sleeve last episode, so some people thought she was just wearing like a bracelet or a gauntlet or something. And that's where the blade came out of. But here, you can see it's clearly coming out of her skin. It's like opening up as the blade comes out. Now we do have like a Stargirl versus Shiv uh, Street Fighter style, uh, but we also have a fight going on in Courtney's bedroom. You'd have to assume the fight starts in the bedroom, then leads out onto the street, but this is in Courtney's bedroom. Some damage is being done. So uh, if Barbara's home and she doesn't find out about it now, then I don't think she ever will. But speaking of Courtney's bedroom, we do see her, um, later in the trailer, Cindy arrive with balloons and like a get well message. Probably she's pretending to be a friend of Courtney's in order to get in, which, which does suggest that Courtney maybe doesn't tell Pat that Cindy is the villain or Cindy just pretends to be someone else to get in. She doesn't introduce herself as Cindy. She introduces herself as Patricia or something like that. Um, or maybe Barbara, maybe that might be a name that she uses, but she might use a fake name to get in or Courtney just didn't reveal what she knew. Um, so I guess it's one of those. Or maybe Cindy just walks in, who knows? It'd be like Cindy to do that. So that could be the, uh, that could be what happens. This could be the break we needed. Now this is said by Courtney when she's talking to Pat about what she learned last episode. But of course, Pat doesn't think any of that is worth her dying over, which is probably true. Courtney was very reckless last episode and went against pretty much what most people thought she should have done. Uh, now, hopefully Courtney has learned a lesson from that and admits that to Pat. They're like, okay, maybe I should listen, listen to you. And she just says that in this episode. 
But then again, she is fighting Cindy again in the episode, but that seems unavoidable, uh, unavoidable, sorry, as it does look like Cindy is the one hunting for Courtney, not the other way around. So what's Courtney meant to do there? So like, Cindy, stop. My dad doesn't agree. Well, my stepdad doesn't agree with this. Can we do this some other time? Cindy's not going to listen to that. So um, I guess that's just unavoid- unavoidable for Courtney in this episode. But as I said before, there are some promo images for this episode. There's only four. They've only released four so far. So not that many compared to last episode or the previous episodes. But we have Courtney in bed. Now, there is another shot of her in hospital, which I will show actually right now. Both times she's got the bandages on her hand, but you have to assume the hospital one is first, but it is last in the promo image groups. But I'd assume it's the first one. So we open up with Courtney in hospital. Then she goes home to be in bed to just to rest. But yeah, so Courtney's going to be resting for, I'd say a decent amount of the episode. I reckon Courtney's going to be out of action in regards to doing anything for a good amount. And we're going to see the new JSA doing stuff. And then for that last, maybe third of the episode, that's when like Stargirl versus Shiv starts happening. Um, but that's just me assuming because I, I have, you'd, have to have to, you'd have to think that Courtney would have a bit of a rest for the episode. But so we should get more of the other uh, characters doing stuff in the episode, hopefully. But speaking of the other characters, we do have... Uh, Cindy Berman's stepmother, who I can't remember her name is. It's something Berman, obviously, but it's at her house. Once again, she's made some cookies. Beth's got one of the cookies. Like, I'll take that offer up. And to be completely honest, I'm not against you, Beth, there. I'd probably take one of the cookies as well. Um, But obviously, this is what um, I was saying before, which suggests that the investigation into one of their classmates is Cindy, which leads them to her house. Beth's there. And as you can see in the the next one, which is the final promo image, Beth has the goggles, so she's probably going to put them on, scan around the house, and maybe find that secret pathway, which leads down to the ISA, which maybe confirms something that Cindy told Pat about, you know, pathways and stuff under Blue Valley. Um, So Pat would believe her in regards to that. But um, yeah, everything's uh, coming into place, I guess you could say, in regards to uh, taking on the ISA and uh, what they've been doing this season. So this could be a big episode. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, it'd be awesome. If you could drop a like on it, it show support. Let me know in the comments section down below. Is there anything in the trailer or the promo images that I failed to discuss? If I did, let me know in the comments. What are you looking forward to most in this episode? Um, yeah, just let me know all your various opinions. I'm intrigued to see what you guys have to say. And of course, if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. And um, yeah, I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.